Hi, my beautiful Pisces, and welcome to Arcana Priestess. So for those of you that are new, welcome, and if you are returning, I am so glad to have you. All right, my love, so the card that you have today is Passion. So this is the first card, obviously. Um, this was just, it came out when I was doing your pre-shuffle, so we'll start here, and then we'll keep shuffling and get out whatever else we can get for you guys. But Pisces, my loves, you have allow your heart to, and soul to sing with joy. You have somebody here who feels so much passion and desire for you. And I'm here and I can't be tamed. It's like, this is somebody who couldn't be tamed. And then you came in and, and they just like fell for you. Like, just so instantly. Like if somebody, if they're walking and somebody just like knocks them a little bit to the side and their hat just like falls off, that's as quick as it took for them to fall for you. And, and they're just so in love with you. And, and I don't think you're very much aware of it though, which is, it's very odd because if it's so, such a strong feeling, how can you not be aware of it, right? How are you clueless to this fact? There are some hints that you have. Um, this is never gonna, this is not a very like um, expressive person. They're not gonna be giving you speeches or letting you know how much they love you. Like they're gonna show you in certain ways. And so they've done things and they've said, or they not said, um, I think hinted at, they've probably hinted at certain things. Um, but I think with this person, like verbal expression of emotion is probably the last thing that they're going to do to actually show you. I don't think that they put too much value in words. I don't think that they put as much value in words as you do. That's for sure. So, um, this person just like, they love, this sounds kind of gross to me, but <laughs> they love the smell of your breath. Um, they love the smell of your neck. Some of you guys have a signature perfume and they love that. They love, they get lost in the, in the smell of your perfume and whatever notes are in your perfume, whenever they smell um, one of those notes on their own, they get reminded of you. There's a lot of things that remind this person of you, but I think it's because they're, you know, purposely thinking of you a lot. Um, I think that this is somebody who can just like sit there and say like one word from some like sentence that, or a moment that you guys have shared together and just kind of get lost in it. Just like, I feel like I just got lost for like three seconds there and I just kind of like came back for a minute. Um, but there's so much passion. Yeah, we have chemistry here. There's a strong magnetic attraction. This person just feels completely drawn to you. They feel completely pulled to you. There's something so mysterious about you, something so different about you that is just like, they see you as, like you either have very, very dark hair or you have very, very light hair, but either way, your hair just really brings out your eyes and you have beautiful lips, beautiful lips. Some of you, this could just be everything surrounding your mouth. So you're, <laughs> absolutely, I'm not saying that, nasty. Your, <laughs> your lips, your voice, um, Again, the way that your breath smells, um, the way that you eat. This could be somebody who really enjoys feeding you or has a fantasy of feeding you. They could even have a fantasy. They love taking you out to eat. They love taking you out to eat. And I don't think that you know this, but they have like this, like, there's just something about watching you eat. Like, it's so cute. Stop this. Oh my God. Okay. Because they love the idea of them being able to take care of you. So like, you know, if you didn't eat breakfast, they're going to take you for breakfast or for dinner or for lunch or whatever. And it's like, they love knowing that like you're eating something that they bought for you. It's very, it's like their kinks are very interesting. Just like little day to day things that like are just regular and just normal to the average person turn this person on when you do them. And so I think that this person fell in love with you for like the complete opposite reasons of what you would have assumed that they fell in love with you for. Very interesting. It, it's about, they fell in love with you because of the little things that you do that nobody else does or nobody else does like you. Some of these things, you don't even know that you do them. Some of these things, you're fully unaware that you even do them. 
All right. Pisces. Show me more about this passionate connection that is filled with magnetic chemistry. You're both very, very attracted to each other. Um, the physical chemistry is out of this world. Probably the physical and intimacy is like out of this world. Um, you knew it was gonna be from the moment you saw them because they might as they might as well be the most attractive person that you've ever met. And not just like, and I think you've seen people that are just very attractive before, but I think it's like the level of hot that this person is, as well as the energy that they bring, it's like, I think they know they're hot. I think they know that they're hot. Um, I think that this is somebody who can completely woo a room if they needed to or if they wanted to. I think that this is somebody who just, they know what their strengths are. They know what their strengths are. Very charming, very, very, very charming individual. But also I think that this is somebody who, I think that this might be an air sign for some of you guys. Um, Cause I feel like they're witty like an air sign. Like, you know, like the Gemini energy that's super witty. I feel like this person's energy kind of matches that. But then I also feel like this is somebody who is, um, well, they could be a Taurus. Like think of all the charming, charming zodiac signs, right? Like they could be a Taurus, um, they could be a Gemini, they could very well be an Aquarius. Um, oh, they could be a Scorpio. Yeah. Or they could be a Cancer that can just like sing to your soul, right? Um, we have the Magician here. Yeah, this is exactly the energy here, but I feel like you both have it. You both have that, you have that za. You know what I mean? Like you have that riz too. You are both. And that's what's so crazy. It's like, people are just like, how, you know, when you see a couple and you're just like, wow, they're both 10 out of 10. Like the humor, the looks, the energy, the vibe. It's just like, how did you guys even find each other? You know what I mean? Like, um, <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting such a specific message, but you know, when you see those, like, I can't say it on here, but the word, it's a four letter word starts with a P. Um, and it's like two people being intimate online and you can like find a bunch of videos and you can do your thing to them. Like, you know how normally there's like the two people that would be doing that would be very, very attractive, like out of this world looking like super hot. Um, that's what you guys give off. It's like people love to watch you guys. It's very weird if you guys were to, maybe you guys have like an OnlyFans or something, but if you guys were to just like be kissing and you see your friend looking and like your friend is like ew or something like that like that is just because you caught they caught or because you caught them i think people really like watching you guys just be you and it doesn't matter if it's like kissing or hugging or holding each other or whatever it is you're doing but there's something just very like people are very curious about your connection and about how your connection came about um to people that are just otherworldly attractive Wow. Okay. We'll get it. I think this is the connection that's also very divinely protected. I think that you also had to get through some intensities in your life to be able to attract this. You had to go through, like, I think people might also think that you got this quite easily, but you went through a lot to get this. Like this person compared to the last couple people that you dated is like a whole, it's a whole different story. It's a whole different game. And so you damn well deserve this. And don't let anybody tell you otherwise, because yeah, don't. We have the tower moment here the tower card yeah like I, I just feel like there is this like in the chariot here some of you this is a cancer um this is scorpio and aries energy oh like i i just feel this like you might learn to surrender for the first time ever through being with this person because when you're with them it's hard not to be present it's like the whole world just completely disappears i think this is somebody who and for some of you you might not know this person yet but for a majority of you i do think this person is in your life and with the tower moment it's like they completely changed your life i think that when this person you either met this person when you were having when you were going through a tower moment or meeting them brought you into a tower moment but this ended up like 
shooting you towards where you were meant to be and at the time it might have felt like oh my god my life is over everything's destroyed like da 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 da, da. you might have been like spiraling but then you realized pretty quickly because it shot you to where you were meant to be like oh gosh wait a minute I'm not I don't even remember thinking about any of those things that I lost any of those people that are not in my life anymore when's the last time I even thought about them it was when they were in my life so clearly this all happened for my highest good and so this person brought you into the next best level version of yourself and you also had done that for them it's very very beautiful it's very very powerful and if you don't know this person yet and this is someone coming into your life honey this is somebody that's going to be coming very very freaking quickly all right um this person is either going to be coming during Scorpio season or between now and Aries season. And ultimately, things are going to be like, like, it's kind of weird because some of you guys, if you if you meet this person in Scorpio season um, or even Aries season, there's going to be like tying the knot in, in like cancer season. And so it's like, if you know, you know, like when you know, you know. And if you're not ready, you get ready. That's the energy here. Like, you know, that thing where it's like, if he wanted to, if he wanted to, he would, if she wanted to, she would like, that is what you're going to see for the first time ever coming in from this person. There is no resistance. There's no questioning. There is no doubt. You just know that they want you as much as you want them. And that just makes the connection so hot, so hot, like magic in the sheets, baby. But that is what I have for you, loves. I hope that this reading gives you the clarity that you seek. And I wish you all of the best. I have my 2024 spreads. They'll be available till January 1st. And they're in the description box below, as well as all of the regular readings. Take care, my loves. Bye.